Now to a case giving us a very rare look at the violence happening far too often behind doors. Police call it domestic violence, but the reality is for one woman, it was a matter of life and death. This is Shawnee Saunders. He's accused of beating up his girlfriend and threatening her with a gun. Now he's faced similar allegations before, but those cases have been dropped. This time, however, the circumstances are different because his alleged victim can't testify against him. Saunders went before a judge today and prosecutors used some pretty disturbing video to try to keep him locked up until trial. It looks like any this other neighborhood, right but investigators say inside, there was a fight for survival. The defendant was angry because the victim had carried the baby to term and he did not want the child. Shawnee Sanders subtly shook his head as prosecutors went over 16 years of domestic violence allegations. In these domestic violence relationships, more harm comes to the victim after they engage law enforcement than if they just sucked it up and didn't call them in the first place. Saunders' defense pointed out the cases against Saunders have been dropped and he's not dangerous. That's a mere speculation, Judge. It's an opinion of the state. This time, there is video evidence from inside this home for his battery and aggravated assault with a deadly weapon charges. A warning, the video is violent and disturbing. Don't let me... I'm we stopped the video, but Saunders can be seen hitting Alyssa Pierce in the face hard. Her head hits the wall. She falls to the ground, and then... Saunders can be seen pulling out a handgun, wrestling Pierce to the ground, and repeatedly telling her to open her mouth. Open her mouth right now. Please? One, two, open her mouth right now. This home surveillance video, investigators say, was sent to Pierce's mom with a message. Should anything happen to me, send this to law enforcement. Last September, Pierce was found shot in the head. Her death is not currently considered a homicide, but police say they're still investigating. I, I'm not afraid of him. Meanwhile, the woman Saunders currently lives with describes herself as a co-parent with him. She says despite a restraining order she filed, he's never gotten violent with her. Everything that has been shown makes him seem like a really bad person, but I don't have any concern for myself or my children since living with him. There we go. Judge Moran ultimately decided to hold Saunders in jail until his trial. APD says they are still going over the evidence in the victim's death investigation in this case.